Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Dennis the National. So I'm here with Okavini. He is also a YouTuber like me. He's from Uganda. Remember, we have done a video in the past before with him, and yes. this now we meet again in Nairobi city. So I'm going to do a video about Nairobi, and it's a very dangerous place to shoot. But today I want to dare myself to shoot that place because it's so beautiful. I'm just going to dare, risk everything, and shoot that place. Before we go there. Okavini, can you tell us uh, how was the journey from Uganda? Yeah, the journey was good. Yeah. Uh, I loved it and uh, okay, it was also very cold and I had a lot of cops doing videos in, around Nairobi and all that. However, it shocked me like the security is quite very tight at the moment. It's becoming a little like hard to, to do shoot. videos, to shoot videos in Nairobi. Yeah, there have been this problem of crime in Nairobi of late. People have been hijacked and their goods stolen. So right now security has been heightened in Nairobi to actually help with that. So it's making it hard to film at the moment. But we are just going to risk it anyway, guys. Let's just try our best yeah. and see uh, what comes out. Yeah, that's what we do for you guys. So the, the, the best thing you can do for us is actually to like this video. I'll put his YouTube channel on my description. Yeah. Uh, just go and subscribe and support a brother, okay? Please go and subscribe to his channel, okay? Please. Uh, actually, I do travels, I do yeah. cultural videos. My recent videos about the Kejongs in Uganda, you know, oh. dancing around, having fun with these guys. You know, some people think that it's very hard to get into their life. It's very easy, as well as long as you are very friendly with them, they will welcome you talk to their leader, and then dance with them, celebrate life with them. So, and I love interaction with people, especially those people whom they think they are primitive. <laughs> yeah, so it was really very good and I enjoyed it. Don't miss out on those videos, just go and check out on my channel. As he has told you, my channel name is Okavini, doing some good, amazing videos. Kindly support me, subscribe, give it a like, always guys. So guys, it's up to us YouTubers to show the, beaut the beautiful parts of Nairobi and that's what we are going to do today. But it's a very risky video today, very dangerous. I yeah. might get arrested, so the, the best you can do to me is like this video yeah, yeah. and subscribe. And that will be good. From today henceforth, I'll be doing very risky videos for you guys, but amazing content. Otherwise, this place still looks good because it has not been opened. The Green Park Bus Terminal. And uh, like I was telling my friend here, if this place is opened uh, within like the first one month, you come back here, it will not be this clean. And right now it's, it looks so beautiful. Mm. Yeah, I hope they, they just leave it like this and make it a park. A place where people come to make videos, skate, picnic and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it will look very Because nice. it's beautiful, yeah? yeah? And once the matatu is brought in this place, it, is, it will be too much disorganized and that anyway guys please come with us i hope you enjoy this video so guys this is the traffic in nairobi already and you can see the gridlock in nairobi when it's rush hour i'm with my friend so vinny was telling me that this place already is starting to look like you know getting dirty and stuff like that and i was telling him the problem in Africa is not that we don't build quality things. The most, the biggest problem in Africa is that most of the times when we build these things, we don't maintain them, you know. These things, they have to be cleaned, they have to be repaired, you know, they have to be maintained oftenly. Otherwise, they, they just start to crumble back to, to like, they just start to get back dirty and most of the planes get ruined because these places are meant to be used by high traffic of people and most of the times they have to be maintained like you can see here one pillar is missing and i can tell you for sure this will take a long time before it is replaced yeah so that is the problem of africa otherwise at least i can say for sure we are doing better and we are, we, are, we, are, we are going far as Africa. Otherwise, at least I can say for sure we are doing better. And 
we are we are we are we are going far as africa so guys i'm currently at parliament road and sorry for the shaking video you know i couldn't just make it obvious that i am filming because this is the most dangerous place to film for a vlogger remember this place is the parliament on my left is the parliament so it will make sense that there's high security because these where members of parliament are high-ranking government officials and stuff like that but also one thing that made me want to film here is this guys look at how beautiful and clean it is I can I can say on my own opinion that this is the most beautiful street in Nairobi right now and I had to film this because I've filmed some other dirty places of Kenya and Nairobi and I don't want to do that anymore. I've left that job for CNN and BBC for now. I'll film the beautiful, the most beautiful parts of Nairobi and Kenya and Africa as a whole anywhere I go. So this, guys, is the most beautiful street and the problem is filming is very hard. You get arrested. It's easy to get arrested. And if you think I'm lying, just go and try taking a video here and making it obvious you are taking a video. The next thing you'll know, you'll be in committee singing like you do be prisoner songs. I am a prisoner, you know. Anyway, guys, so otherwise I, I decided to risk because this place has to be filmed and people have to know about this place. And it is only in Kenya. I, I've seen in the US people take videos of the White House. In the UK people take videos of the the kings, the queen's castle, the parliament and everything. Yeah. So guys, this is the most beautiful street in Nairobi. I can say that. You can just see how beautiful it is. Very sensitive. I can get arrested. I've seen a lot of policemen, high security. But guys, I have to do this for you guys. And sorry guys if this video is shaking too much. <laughs> I'm not shooting in the normal way, so I'm shooting like this so that I don't get arrested. Yeah. Still important. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, there was a time I was taking a certain American around Nairobi. And so, you know, I, in the parliament area on the compound, there are these long old trees. And this bird called marabou stalk, the big bird with the long beak, they nest on top of those trees. So there were so many on, around that tree. And my American st friend started taking photos across the fence. And before we knew it, there were so many security uh, personnel and police officers uh, on the inside part of the fence. That was the lucky thing. Otherwise, they came, they told us, they wanted to arrest us, but I told them no. Uh, the guy is American and is a tourist and he didn't know this place is restricted. So we had to delete the photos. But the thing that saved us, I reckon, on that day is that we were on the other side of the fence. If there was a way they could jump the fence, I think they would have arrested us. Uh, they would have arrested us definitely. So this thing of like restricting people from taking photos and videos, Sakaja was right. It should be done away with. It is too old for now. So let's guys enjoy the video as I can, but it was too risky. So I have to cut the video at some point. But next time, I will shoot the whole stretch of that parliament road. That place is so beautiful. But filming there, where I can rot in jail for that. Guys, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying. I'm still with Okavini from Uganda, and we are still just walking around. So, Okavini, yep. you have seen our parliament. I have seen it's actually smaller than ours. I don't know how many times. It's smaller than Uganda. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a <laughs> oh, it's very big. I but mean, you see that tall building there? Yeah. It's still parliament. Oh, this side, right? That tall building there, 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 there. Are they all parliamentary seats? It's for the offices. Oh, for the offices. Yeah. It's a new building, actually. Wow. The streets <coughs> of Nairobi are so clean, guys. And beautiful, yeah? And beautiful. Actually, this is my favorite street to walk in when, like, I want to walk in Nairobi. Yeah, it's really cool, eh? Yeah, very clean. And I'm with Dennis National. <laughs> That's the man. <laughs> yeah. So, actually, I love Nairobi in that uh, they have really modified the, like, beautified the area. Yeah. Try to put up very nice roads. And, uh, nice buildings. What I don't like about Nairobi now is because of the security. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's 
tight. Yeah. I always see this guy in my videos every everywhere I go, the yellow car, I don't know why. Oh, the hammer. Yeah. It's a hammer. So I myself don't always like the security, especially because I can get arrested while filming. What but is that? on this of the time, governor of Nairobi. Yeah. The county, county uh, Nairobi county offices. Uh -huh. By then yeah. it was song for who's now? Sakaja. Sakaja. Sakaja is the man. Oh. Yeah, he's the one who is right now tasked with maintaining Nairobi mm. and building it further as he can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you ever been here that building there? Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. You have ever been there? Yeah, been there. I did it in a number of videos. At the KICC? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Actually, the camera went there. Yeah. Those guys come to me nicely. Yeah, yeah. They, they allowed me to go. On, they allowed me to shoot video on top without payment. Oh, you didn't pay going up there. I paid going, oh. but they allowed me to film without paying. Yeah, they always allow someone to film. Yeah. As far as you have this small camera GoPro. Yeah, of course they were like, hey, that one is a professional. Maybe they won't allow you. Cameras will show you over that side. Yeah. And then they like, wow. But Nairobi is really cool. Guys, just have a look on how Nairobi looks like. Very beautiful, yeah? So guys, my job recently is about taking Ugandans ar around the most beautiful parts of Nairobi <laughs> because I've really shown a lot of Ugandans in Nairobi, yeah? Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, I, know, I know Nairobi myself as well because <laughs> I studied in Nairobi. You studied in Nairobi, I yeah? I did a postgraduate in Nairobi at some point. Yeah. Yeah, I, I lived in Karen for, so for some good time. Yeah. So Look at this traffic. I think we should go through this way. Why not this side? You know, you know better. Mine even they hold Be, it because, like this. Because of the, the this traffic. Mm. But I don't want to be you to be hit by a car. Oh. Then you'll be like, oh, Dennis the National. <laughs> Actually, I want us to cross that way. Okay. <laughs> So guys, I'm trying out this walking on the streets of Nairobi, but it's very good. This is Wabera Street. Wabera. You see everyone walking very fast, going so through I their see, business. Okay, to the bus stations and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So since so they it's built, an amazing experience, guys, in Nairobi. I'm really having it nice, and I've really enjoyed my walk around. So you're saying, Dennis? So, Nairobi right now, it's easy to walk in Nairobi because of these cabros. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, we didn't have them. Mm. Before, we didn't have them. So, we had to walk shoulder to shoulder with the vehicles. Okay. You know? Okay. We didn't have them at all. So, I think we can now cross back. Okay. You know, one thing I love about vlogging, and the best way to vlog, it's not just to follow a straight pattern. Yeah, you, you can maneuver around. Maneuver around. Yeah, it, it brings the adventure. Adventure, and then people yeah. still want to see what happens next after crossing water. Yeah. So you see, like this place is currently still under construction. So guys, don't start saying, "Oh, Nairobi is dirty." This place is under construction. They want to put Cabro everywhere in Nairobi city. Then this road, where does this road go? Uh, this road still goes to the same street we came before we crossed this way. Side. Yeah. Wow. It's really beautiful. Yeah. I think uh, Nairobi is uh, the first, the fastest growing city yeah. in East Africa. You think so? N not only actually East Africa, I think in Africa at the moment. Why? Why will you say that? The infrastructures, there's much mm. invested in infrastructures. Yeah. There's that cleanness. Yeah. Yeah. Though sometimes we think it's Kigari, but it's on Nairobi. It's not bad though. So guys, you see currently where we are walking, you will notice uh, it is not yet constructed. But this one, this is how the walkway is used to look. So currently what the county government is doing is, it's removing all this uh, concrete uh, walkway and replacing it with the red cabros we were on before we got here. And it's making it look beautiful. So all this will be removed. I think after like five months, you'll not see this here. Mm. Yeah. 
and uh, it, it started with this agakan walk oh this is called agakan yeah, this walk. is called agakan walk okay so it started with this you see the, it's now cabro all of it is cabro wow looking beautiful huh? yeah looking beautiful indeed. so from here you can walk all the way to Haile Selassie on this uh, walkway mm. just straight it takes you all the way to Haile Selassie wow. and it's all cabro and it's all beautiful so it makes it easier to walk around uh, Nairobi it's really beautiful and uh, also there is some kind of sitting areas yeah yeah they put these sitting areas where people can relax in case you are uh, stranded you can yeah. sit around here or waiting for someone wait for someone and they've also planted uh, so many flowers and making, and gardening making, you know, making it green. green yeah so that we don't just build a concrete jungle yeah. I, I, there was this American I was taking him around Nairobi mm -hmm. and he said he has never seen a city with so many trees. So many know. trees? Yeah. In, in the, in, in in Africa, within the buildings, you know. Oh, within the buildings. Like you see these trees. There are so many others like these around Nairobi. Uh, though sometimes they get cut down for some reasons to pay way for construction, but mm. we try to preserve them as, as much as possible. You know, I just love the, the walking here. It's less trafficked. You, you have ample space to walk around yeah. without uh, congestion, yeah. without all that. So guys, we are still in Nairobi, we are still with Okavimi. Uh, we're just, I'm just showing him around these places, we're just walking. Mm. By now I think himself he knows Nairobi. <laughs> so we're just enjoying the city, talking about things that affect us as Nairobians. Yeah, yeah. There's this issue of uh, insecurity. Mm. And right now the government has increased um, security personnel to actually help with that. You know, you can just be hijacked and you can lose your valuables, like even this camera or my phone and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And someone was even stabbed in Nairobi. So the county government and the national government, they are trying their best to make sure that that doesn't happen because to walk in Nairobi like we are walking right now, we have to feel safe. Uh, yeah, yeah, we feel safe because at least when the security... Yeah. yeah. So when you come on the weekends, guys, this is always uh, not a parking lot. It's a skating rink park. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. If you come here on the weekend, it's a skating rink park, but it's called the Sunken Park. The Sunken Parking Lot. The sunken Park. Parking Lot. The Sunken Parking Lot. It's a public area. Yeah. For cars, for parking. But during the weekend, it becomes a, an area for skating rink. People come and skate and everything and have fun. It's like it's a park.
guys you can see these things are still under construction uh, they're still constructing them so it's not over until all nairobi has walkways that are in cabro they'll construct it everywhere and i think after this is done nairobi will be so beautiful and amazing it has been my pleasure showing you nairobi with okavini i know i haven't shown you a lot of nairobi or most parts or all the parts but at least i've shown you the most beautiful parts yeah so please guys go like and subscribe and comment below what you think about nairobi and what the county government is doing to make nairobi a beautiful city constructing the workplace and everything and they're also restoring security that is very important because we have seen a lot of security so it means right now nairobi is a lot a lot more safer and I can attest to that. Actually, yeah. give a thumbs up. Security people, yeah? <laughs> Security people. Yeah. Thank you, Governor Sagaja. Yeah, Governor Sagaja. And guys, check me out. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. For Come and see some amazing videos on my channel. And suggestions are always welcome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you, guys.